Every morning I have a routine. I brew some tea, I eat a banana, half of which is usually shared with my dog Bronco, and lately I've added breakfast bars to the mix. I find this gives me a nice punch of energy that allows me to get to work for a couple hours, go for a run with the dog, and then have a proper breakfast. But that last element, those breakfast bars, they're kind of pricey, especially for the gluten-free ones that I like. They can cost a dollar or more per bar. So I decided to just make my own. And as with so many things homemade, the results are both delicious and a lot less expensive than store-bought. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make breakfast bars that are super easy to make. All it takes is a few ingredients and an oven. In fact, you don't even need a full-size oven. You can do this in a toaster oven. It is so easy that literally, if you can just mix a few ingredients and turn on an oven, you can make these breakfast bars. Let's get going. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about helping you be a better cook no matter your skill level. And yes, today we are making breakfast bars. Now these breakfast bars are primarily oat-based, but they've got some other goodies. They've got some eggs, they've got some almond milk, applesauce, and some fruit. I like to use dried blueberries, but you can use your choice of fruit. I'd also like to give a shout out to a website called Feel Good Foodie. That's where I found the foundation of this recipe and I made it a few times and the results were pretty good, but they're a little bit crumbly to my liking. So I went and kind of doctored this recipe and I think I've created a recipe that has really good results. The bars are nice and firm, not too crumbly, and they are just great. So like I said, this is really easy to make. All you have to do is measure some ingredients, mix and turn on the oven. So right now I'm gonna get all my measurements, then I'll show you how it's done. Okay, I've got everything measured and don't worry, I'm gonna put all this ingredients list in the description below so you have it on hand, but I'm gonna run through it really quickly just so you know. So here we have two cups of oatmeal. This is old fashioned rolled oatmeal. Don't get like instant or anything like that. I've also added a half cup of flour. Now I'm gluten free, so I use gluten free flour, but you can use just regular flour as well. Now to this, we're gonna add half a cup of brown sugar. I know it sounds like a lot, but you know, these are gonna be individual pieces. It's not that bad. I also have in here a teaspoon and a half of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. I've also got half a teaspoon of cinnamon right in there. Those are our drying components. So we're just going to whisk them up just like this. And you know, when you're baking something like this, all it really is is combining some dry ingredients like this and some wet ingredients. I mean, that's really all it takes. Now for the wet side of things, we start with a couple of eggs. I've got a half cup of almond milk here. We also add a quarter cup of applesauce and this is my dog Bronco's favorite part because he gets to eat the other quarter of the cup. And then finally, we have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's it for the wet part. Now we're just going to whisk this up, just like that. Okay, now it's time to just bring these two together. It really doesn't matter which one you pour into which, you just want to combine them. And we just want to combine this mixture really, really well. Now one key to making success baked breakfast bars, boy, try saying that fast three times, is we want to let this rest for about 20 minutes. So we're just gonna kind of combine this really well and then set a timer for 20 minutes. That's gonna help this form and not be too crumbly when we bake it. Now you might be thinking, hey, I thought you said there was blueberries in this breakfast bar. Well, there are. We're actually going to use about a quarter cup of dried blueberries along with some chopped walnuts. 
but we're gonna add those right before we bake it. So for now, I just want you to get this nice and mixed. Also, while this is getting set up, I want you to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now, this little toaster oven that I'm gonna use, it heats up really quickly. It only takes about five minutes. But if you're gonna use a larger oven for this, you know, just kind of time it. Whatever oven you're using, get it preheated to 350 degrees. Then I'll meet you back and, well, we'll put this thing in the oven. Okay, my little oven has preheated. This mixture has been sitting for 20 minutes. It's getting along just swimmingly. Now we're gonna add the final components, some dried blueberries. I'm just gonna eyeball this. I'm gonna add about, let's say, a quarter of a cup or so. If you like more blueberries in your breakfast bar, by all means, add more. Same goes for the nuts. I'm just using some chopped walnuts here. Again, about a quarter of a cup. Use as much or as little as you'd like. And the reason we're adding these last is because I, I didn't want either of them to get too soggy. You might also be wondering, can you use frozen blueberries or fresh blueberries for this? You can, but I find that that tends to bleed. And I really want that nice, um, almost like, not quite a crunch of a dried blueberry, but I don't want it to be soggy. Okay, now we are just going to put this into our baking dish. I have an eight inch casserole dish here. And if you watched my video on greasing a pan and why we do it, well, that's exactly what we're doing here. I'm just putting some vegetable oil on, I'm just gonna kind of coat this. And again, this is going to kind of help it not stick. I'm using a very neutral oil, and all that means is it doesn't really have any flavor. So you're probably not gonna wanna use something like olive oil for this or something with a really assertive flavor, just some vegetable oil or even some butter. Now we're just gonna put all this mixture right on in here. I'm doing this in reverse, so I'm sorry if it's kind of messy. It's gonna taste great, promise you that. Okay, now just what we're gonna do is finally pat this down into a layer, just like that, so it's pretty even. Okay, and then this is personal preference, but for a final flourish, I like to top mine just with some more nuts. I really like those nuts right on top. Just kind of put those right in there and give those a small pat right down in. That's it. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this into the oven. We're gonna let it bake for about half an hour at 350 degrees. I know that in my toaster oven, this recipe takes exactly 32 minutes. Uh, your results might differ. So plan to cook this for about 30 to 35 minutes and just kind of check it after about half an hour. Make sure it's done. And you'll know it's done when you stick a knife or a toothpick in and it comes out clean. And the wait is over. We are gonna take this out of the oven. Let me show you how it looks and don't forget those gloves. Ah, it smells so good in here. Ah. Take a look at this. Does this look good or what? Now, normally I would wait for this to cool and then I would slice it into bars but for the sake of you, I'm just going to do this now, and I think it's gonna turn out fine either way. So, uh, you know, this isn't rocket science, just kind of take a knife or whatever you have here, and this is gonna yield plenty of bars. And we'll make a few cuts just down here. I recommend serving these either warmed up a little bit or you can eat them cold. You will want to refrigerate these after they are done cooking. And again, just pop them in the microwave oven, kind of heat them up a little bit. I think they're really best served that way. When you just look at these, I mean, these look just amazing and every bit as good as something you would buy in the store. Oh, they're still nice and warm. Mm. I am telling you, this is better than any like gourmet breakfast bar you might buy at the store or even at a deli or something like that. 
maybe even at a bakery because we made this right here in the house in a toaster oven in about half an hour and this is so good. It's crumbly, but not too crumbly. Uh, that's where I think the extra flour really helps hold these together. The blueberries, the crunch of the nut, you gotta try this. So there you go, that's how to make your own baked blueberry breakfast bars at home. It's easy, it takes no time, and heck, you can make it in a toaster oven. I think once you start making these at home, you're gonna say goodbye to those breakfast bars that you see in the store, and you're certainly gonna save some money. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. My name is Chef Matt. This is I Want to Cook. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so glad that you are here. Until next time, I hope you want to cook. By the way, I might have called these breakfast bars, but they're good anytime.